Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to review Xero. The first thing I'm going to review are pricing plans. After pricing plans, we are going to jump straight to the advantages and disadvantages. And while I'll be doing talking about those, I'm going to show you around Xero. I'm going to give you the walkthrough. I always recommend like, like try the tool by yourself and feel it by yourself, how you like it. Only because like I can say that one of the disadvantages is the learning curve. That comparing to probably let's say ZipBooks, FreshBooks, Wave and other accounting applications, it's much difficult to understand because it's also more complex. But in the moment when you would learn how to use it, um, you're going to be great. But again, you can enter Xero and say like, this is so easy to use. Or you can say, no, this is not easy to use at all. So these are the things that I would definitely recommend for you to try it. You will link down below in the description and also write down below in comments your thoughts on what do you think about Xero. If you like it, don't like it, what are some advantages, disadvantages you personally see. So when I enter Xero here and I'm going to look on the pricing plans, in the end, I'm going to talk to you about, of course, the alternatives. You see that you're going to find the early growing established plans here. Here uh, you see that, okay, good for sole traders, new business and the self-employed. For the early, it's really great, but you can only send quotes and 20 invoices. You can enter five bills. In uh, the growing, you can enter all bills. Here you can reconcile bank transaction, capture bills and receipts with HubDoc, shorten cash flow and business snapshot. On the end, uh, in a growing, you can have it more here. So that's much better. Now, when you go further, the last one is established. You can send invoices and quotes. That's the thing. Okay, literally the same. Enter bills, reconcile bank transaction, capture bills. But here you have options to also track projects and claim expenses. So if you need to claim expenses, you need to choose the highest plan, which is established, which is $65 a month, which can be pretty, like pretty high for some small businesses. But again, uh, in Xero, I believe you're going to have it all. So this is the huge advantage that I personally see that you can go do a lot of things in Xero. And they have great team uh, that they are working on things. So um, what I like about Xero that it's also cloud based. So you don't have to download or you don't have to do any installation. Now also the option to have a free 30 day trial so you can explore it completely before you're going to buy it and try to like do it and do like find the things that you need to do if you can do them in Xero. Now also the interface it's better much better comparing two years back. So even after like two, three, four days you would completely learn how you can use it. I'm going to show you also everything in a walkthrough. You can have bank reconciliation and bank feeds and you can have unlimited users. This is a huge advantage comparing to different uh, different accounting softwares that you can do much more with Xero. You can have uh, automatic payroll here. You can access to the same files as clients. So that's also great. And it's a uh, really scalable in the future. So if your business is going to grow if your business owner uh, and you're going to use it, um, you can adapt a lot to it. Also, the reports are great here. Now, what are the cons of, of it? Uh, the learning curve, as I mentioned, it's going to a little bit of time. Then also, uh, maybe it's, the pricing is going to be a little bit expensive for you. Then you get also limited expense claims, projects and multi-currencies for the most expensive plan. Now, also, uh, the one disadvantage that I personally read, read on the internet is that it can get very slow if your company is running online or if it makes a high volume of sales through PayPal. And also, the customer service is not that great what I read reports. Now, again, you can have different experience in the future. I'm just giving you what I read from other reviews. Then, when I came here to the walkthrough, what you can find in uh, Xero. So you're going to find the dashboard here in the dashboard. You can have like the introduction what is happening. And you can track where your money is going, pay your bills on time. So we would find all the important things here. And you can, of course, edit that. 
In a business, you're going to find a short term cash flow, business snapshot, invoices, quotes, sales or reviews. So I can simply click on invoices here and I can simply click on new invoice. And here I can add item total save. But again, guys, like it's much, uh, it's much easier for me to create an invoice in FreshBooks or ZipBooks or Wave comparing to Xero. So then that's just my uh, perspective. Then you have quotes here and you can add a new quote and you can easily add a quote, start date, export. So it's pretty cool. As I mentioned, the, the bills that I can click new invoice. Then I can go further and click on bills to pay. And again, you can add a new build. So this is really similar. I like all the things that in a moment when you're going to, once I'm learning, you will know exactly what to do here. Then you're going to find the accounting here where you can find all the accounting stuff as a bank accounts, reports, advanced accounting reports, and then contacts. So you can simply click on all contact. And here I can go on the right side and click new contact and add the contact details. Website, country, first name. So that's all what you can do here. And then on the right side, you can simply click plus here and you can add all things. So let's say receive money. I want to add. This is like a quick add on the right side that I can add a quote. And I can simply start adding it. Click plus here, add the invoice. So you would choose a name, then the item. And you can add complete new items here. And then on the top right side, you're going to find the connected applications that you can use. And then you're going to find the Marcus Tonelius or your name on the top right. So what are some Xero alternatives? Uh, you can have the QuickBooks one. That's a great one. Then you're going to have the FreshBooks, the ZipBooks, the Wave, what you can use. Uh, from my perspective, to summarize this whole video, Xero is amazing too. And I definitely recommend for you to use it. And if you're going to use it, you're not going to make a mistake. But the learning curve is higher. Uh, the customer support is not that fast responsive. And that's what I read. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So thank you very much guys for watching. I hope you're going to have a great day. And yeah, see ya.